In this video, I'm going to go over my configuration for some of the additional plugins that I have set for writing LaTeX documents in NeoVim. So the first of these is Vim Commentary. This is super useful. So right now we're in a .vim file. And so Vim Commentary knows that. So if I do control uh, backslash, then it will comment it out in the way that one ought to for a .vim file by putting this little uh, quote quote symbol in front. Um, by contrast, if we're in a markdown file over here and I want to comment something out, um, it will put this little caret instead. Um, and if I'm in a LaTeX file, then I can comment out uh, and it'll put the percent sign. So um, really nice plugin um, by T. Pope. Um, he's got a bunch of really nice plugins. Um, so that is that. Um, and if you go to my init.fim file, you see there's no further config file. So I've not adjusted um, this plugin in any way. Uh, it, it works great out of the box. Um, yeah, nothing to change. Um, OK, so the next one is QuickScope. So this is for sort of moving in line. So say I'm in this line and I want to jump somewhere it's sort of more useful in longer lines. Um, if I do F, so that's the standard Vim command for jumping, it'll basically highlight some of the, some of, so it'll, these ones that turn out green, I know that those with a single movement, with a, so if I do Shift M, it'll jump to those. Um, let's go back if I do F. Uh, whereas I is in blue, so I need to do it more than once basically. So if I do I, then I'll have to go uh, semicolon to jump to the next one. Um, so it doesn't do very much, it just highlights letters, but I find it pretty useful, uh, especially in a longer sentence. So um, if it's too long, so if I do F, um, it won't bring up stuff, but you can see there's all these different little highlightings. I find it, it's just something for the, the, the eye to land on. So for instance, if I do F, it'll jump right there. Um, so that, that can be pretty useful. Um, and so let's go back. Okay, and I do have um, something here, so let's go to this file. Okay, so it basically says highlights on, and then these are just the standard Vim commands. So F and then Shift F, so this is forward, and then uh, capital F is backwards, and then two is sort of the uh, symbol before, and capital T is uh, backwards symbol before. So um, standard Vim commands is just telling it when to sort of trigger trigger this uh, plugin to run and then you can change some of the colors and stuff um, and then you can also change max characters um, I might actually expand this because I sometimes have these really long sentences like this one um, and if I do F nothing happens because there's more than 150 characters here so let's go back uh, let's change this to I don't know, 300 okay and let's go over here Okay, and I need to reload, um, so shift R, okay, and let's go back, let's do F. Um, hmm. Okay, it might even be too long for that one. Or let's try quit and then let's go, oh shoot, what project was that? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, uh, this one, prog space, yeah, I think it was this one. No, it was not that one. Um, oh yeah, it's this one, that's right. Okay, um, so if I do F, okay, great. So I had to completely reload the whole thing. Um, but now you can see that it is highlighting even in this fairly long sentence. So that was a nice little change. Um, okay, so that's all there is to say about that. Um, let's go back to plugins. Okay, float term. Um, this I'm using sort of in conjunction with a bunch of other plugins. So for instance, lazy git, uh, if I do space gg, brings up, so you see float terms up at the top. Um, and yeah, let's get out of this. Um, and let's go here, so go to file. Okay, and so there's not too much here, but you know, a little bit of just how it, how it looks, um, the weighting and so on. Um, so fairly standard, uh, not not too much to change here. 
Um, and yeah, that's all I'm going to say for that. Um, OK, undo tree, I don't have a config file for, but it's a nice plugin that I've demonstrated in the past. Um, I don't know. Yeah, maybe this I've had open for a while. So space view. Yeah, you can see my little uh, undo tree over here. So I can switch to some of these. Um, so that's nice if you like that. Um, and yeah, you can see there's no there's no further config file. Um, same thing for multiple cursors. I have to say I was using this a bit when I first started. It's a little bit buggy of a program or of a of a plugin. Um, it can sometimes be useful, um, but I also have not customized it in any kind of way. Um, I may uninstall this actually at some point now that I've sunk a little deeper into sort of Vim and getting sort of more fluent with the way you do things inside Vim instead of an IDE like Sublime and so on. Um, but yeah, multiple cursors can sometimes be cool. Um, so you can select all these things and uh, you know you have these multiple cursors. Um, but yeah, I've not customized this at all. So not much else to say there. Um, OK, and then Goyo. Uh, OK, when I first got into Vim, I thought Goyo was like, looked really cool. So if you go into full screen, space, and I think I have it under Z for Zen mode. Yes, I do. Um, it gets rid of all the noise, and you just have this. this. Um, so let's switch over to, I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, maybe a file like this. So let's do space uh, Z. Um, I don't know. Maybe this is kind of nice for writing sometimes um, without distraction. I have to say that I've not used it at all, um, but I still have it installed. Installed. So let's get out of there. Um, yeah, let's turn this off here. Z. Okay, but if you don't want to make any changes, the only configuration I've added is sort of its width. So that's something you might want to adjust depending on your screen. Um, so that is the only config for Goyo. Um, and that's it. Those are all the sort of additional functions which I've added. Um, there's, of course, lots of other ones out there. One that I've contemplated adding is um, sometimes just a well, yeah, keep track of, let's maybe go to another file, let's go to, yeah, this one. Um, yeah, sometimes if you have, this is not a great example, but if you have like all kinds of indenting, um, having the vertical lines just to help you line things up, that's another additional feature I've contemplated adding, but I have to say it's, it's actually not really necessary. The way that this highlights, you can kind of see anywhere is where things are, so. Um, just feels like clutter. Um, so yeah, lots of other additional functions one could add. Um, this is where you would drop them if you want to add further plugins. Um, and then these are all the different um, config files which you, you might want to get into. So that is it for additional functions.